Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome to my Space Engineers Let's Play. This is Season 1, Episode 20, and we're just here in our space station. I haven't played this in quite a few days, but I've got I've made some decisions on how I want to things I want to do for this world. I'm going to give you a little rundown. Okay, number one, I'm going to tear out this wall right here. Uh, the sea is going to have to go. I hate to lose the sea, but I got no I got no I got nothing else I can do about it. And this area right here is actually going to be a uh, storage area, uh, you know, where I hold most of my stuff. All right, so what I'm going to do is, and I'll show you right now, give you an idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a container, um, one of these cargo containers right here. And then that way I can get into here, take whatever I need out and put it into that uh, cargo container. Uh, then I'm going to have a pipe going out the back and it's going to bring the items from that one cargo container into uh, a little room here of connected cargo containers. Okay. Now the next thing I was going to do was make a, um, a hanger, a hanger bay, but I don't think I'm going to make a hanger bay. I think what I'm going to do is all those cargo containers that are in my storage area are going to run through pipes and eventually end up over here in this area somehow. I'll try and make it look as as neat as possible and what I'm gonna do over here is this is going to come out and this is going to be a long uh, a long platform that's gonna go as far as I need it to and this is going to be a docking bay for all my ships and the reason I want those pipes to come over here is because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna park my ships over here and I'm gonna use this little nifty gadget here the ejector or if it's a big ship the connect uh, the connector and I'm gonna spit everything out of my ship into the into collectors I'll put right here it'll it'll all go right into my uh, system all right I can also have a a connector coming over this way to, to bring stuff from my system and spit it out into a ship now you might wonder how that's gonna work with the gravity uh, I'm gonna have to be able to turn the gravity off uh, if you turn the gravity off and you spit stuff out of a connector uh, a connector into a collector the stuff goes right into the collector with no problem without Without any gravity interrupting the process, it goes exactly where it's supposed to go. And um, that'll become more clear later. But one of the major things i got to do is I'm going to alter this ship right here. What I'm going to do is, first of all, do the... Okay, so the welders do have an inventory, but there's nothing in them. So I could destroy this one without losing anything. So let's go ahead and destroy this welder. And I'm going to put a grinder in its place. So... I need to be able to grind, and I need to be able to grind now. Now, I have ideas for grinding ships I want to make, but the fact of the matter is, I just can't wait. I need I need a grinder now. So, that one goes side to side. So, let's put this one side to side as well. Like that. Okay. I should have everything I need here for it. Yes, I do. So, let's... Uh, I'm going to grind this up, and then we're going to work on our storage area. Uh, we need to get the storage area. To be perfectly honest, a lot of this stuff is kind of not really needed but here's the thing okay I have a system set up with a couple storage containers As a matter of fact I'm gonna show you this right now because this is really important and you might not even get what I'm saying until I've actually done it but I've done a lot of work on this on uh, different worlds to uh, find out how this stuff works now this setup right here for those of you who don't know it's two refineries and they're all connected to an assembler and three storage containers in the back now this is one system right here. This stuff is all connected. Now what I want is I want a welding ship that I can pull welding items out of the storage containers and put them in the welding ship. Now I can do that with conveyors, tubes, conveyors, and like all kinds of stuff. I can pull it out. But because the refineries are hooked into this system, what it's going to do is it's going to also pull out uh, ores. Like, like, say, hypothetically speaking, I have some ores in these refineries being refined. It's going to pull the ores out. It's also going to pull out the uh, the ingots and stuff like that. Like, uh, let's see what we got here. It's going to pull out these ingots and put it in a ship. Now, these ingots are not needed in any kind of welding ship. This stuff's not used for welding. So, pulling this stuff out and put it, putting it into my welding ship or any kind of transport ship, there's absolutely no reason to take any of these... Um, these refined ores out of here plus if i'm in the middle of refining ores at the time it's going to pull the unrefined ores out and it's just gonna be a big a big mess so this is going to be henceforth known as my crafting room uh crafting refinery room 
And the room over here is going to be known as my storage room. And the storage room, I will have a system that will pull everything out of the storage room and drop it into a welding ship, uh, possibly some kind of transport ship, uh, you know, stuff like that. The problem with that is it'll, it'll pull everything out of my storage room, but th there's no way around that. It's just the way it's got to be. Uh, but it'll work out. You'll see. I hope that kind of makes sense to you. Um, it kind of makes sense. If, if you're not really sure, rewind and listen again to what I just said. It, it actually... It, May not seem like it makes a lot of sense, but it does. And you'll see as we go along this Let's Play how that's going to work. So let's go ahead and pull down our grinder. And then we're going to come right over here. Now, actually, I don't know how much of this I have to grind out. I'm pretty sure i got to grind out this whole wall. So let's see how this works. All right, you can see the grinder's going. And it's doing its thing. This is not the best grinding ship in the world, but it's definitely better than doing this by hand. So it doesn't... Is it still going? Hmm. Okay, so I'm not sure if it's getting all four of those blocks. Let's just see. Let's see what this is doing. Yeah, this is going to take a long time, actually. <laughs> long longer than I thought. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take out all these armored blocks here. And then behind that is just going to be a wall of interior walls. And we're going to actually leave those interior walls wh where they are. See? Oh, I should probably do this like this. It could definitely get a 2x2 two two block radius at the same time. That grinder right there, I think it's getting all four of those blocks. It looks like it is. Yeah, this is a really weak grinding ship. This is pretty much the weakest grinding ship you could possibly make. But it's something I can get going right now, and I can start doing it, and, uh, you know, it's going to work out. It's just going to take a little bit longer than I'd want it to, but uh, that's okay. We really should make a better grinding ship. <sighs> yeah, we really should. <laughs> so we got this one right here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grind out this wall, and uh, I'll come back when that's done. Okay, that was relatively painless. Let's uh, just back up a little bit and see what we got here. Uh, first of all, let's see what we got in the cargo container. Kind of curious. I don't know if there was any uh, steel plates in there before I started. There might have been, actually, but eh, it's still pretty cool. All right, so now we need to make the door that is going to run our items into the next room and um, I could probably put it right there actually it might make sense more sense to put it right here I really should go back and change the grinding things for the game because and the welding speed because even with the welding ships and stuff it's still a lot of downtime but whatevs all right so now we're gonna need a do we use small cargo containers in here yes we do okay so we need a small cargo container. Let's make sure that the keypad is facing up. And we'll put that right there. And then we will go around back. Alright. And we are going to have... I guess we could have... A, you want to use conveyor, you wanna use, uh, conveyor uh, tubes anytime you can. Because they're cheaper and they just look cool, I think. Alright, so this is going to be the room. Now, this is going to be an inside room. So all this... Uh, uh, interior walls can stay the way it is and we're gonna have to put down a floor so let's go ahead and put down a floor I'm not sure how big I want to make this room to be honest I haven't really thought about it um, oh wait, what am I doing with the floor it's supposed to be uh, interior walls uh, all right whoa oh, no no what are you doing cage what are you doing <laughs> I don't know why I hit J uh, oh by the way I changed my my jetpack to J I didn't like where it was what was it like X or something so when I hit J, my X packs come, my my um my jetpack goes off, and I have no idea why I hit J when I wanted to hit I, but whatever. I didn't want to hit I either. I wanted to hit G. Anywho, let's go ahead and find the interior walls. Okay, and let's put those down as flooring. Make sure it's facing the right way. There we go. I'm not quite sure how big I want to make this. 
Doesn't really matter. I could make it like a little bigger than I wanted. I could, you know. Uh, actually, that is going to be a. Well, let's see. If this is going to have to come out. This hurts me to break out this area because I really love the way this looks, this doorway. But what are you going to do? In the name of progress. Alright, so let's break this out. Okay, so the wall, okay, so the wall's going to be right there. So that's, uh, I have a dilemma here. For those of you who watched my last couple of videos, I, I said, I don't like these as walls. I don't like the interior walls as walls. Now, here's the question. Do I change up the rest of the space station and just leave these two rooms the way they are and have the other space station not match? Nah, I'll leave them as walls, and I'll tell you why. Because if I had to make it not match, I'd have to put another whole set of walls here. Although, I, don't, I mean, I guess it wouldn't really matter, to be honest. Should we have it not match? Nah, we should probably have it match. Well, the hallways don't match, but the hallways are hallways. Hallways are what they look like. Rooms have to have interior walls. Screw it. Just let you know that next time I build a space station, no, I will not be using these interior walls as, uh, as walls. I, I don't like the way they look. So, this could just be a regular one because nobody's going to see it anyway. These can all be regular. Now, as a w now because I took out one of the welding things on that grinder slash welding ship, it's not going to be a great welder either. Um, you know, I want to set up my infrastructure for the base before I start making really kick-ass ships. That, so, that's the idea behind what I'm doing here. Alright, so I need interior plates. Do we have an interior plates in here? Let's see. Let's see what we got in here. Interior plates. No, I don't think we have any on the other side either. Let's check though. No point in going inside if we don't have to. Although we're going to need a, quite a few interior plates. So, all right. I think this is going to come out looking good though. I'm excited about what this is going to look like. I just feel like I've been spending a lot of time on the space station in this Let's Play. But come on, guys. It's a space station. It's my. It's my base. I need to make it. I don't know. Good. All right. We're not going to need these. Might need some of that stuff, who knows. Interior plates, 367, not nearly enough. Okay, I don't see any more. So let's go ahead and make another 300. Man, we have a lot of iron. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you, you make that six drill ship and you drill right through the middle of an asteroid and you're good to go. Now, they've made it so you can put drills on big ships. Uh, so maybe I'll outfit one of those yellow... I, I don't want to like go out of my way and make a big drill ship. I... I kind of feel like a big drill ship is just too cumbersome. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of like the maneuverability of the six drill ship, along with the fact that you get a lot of stuff from it. And let's face it, I mean, I went and drilled out, one of, drilled through one of those asteroids, and I haven't needed to... I mean, what was that, like 10 episodes ago or something? I don't know, but it got me a lot of stuff, so... I don't, I don't know how much I really need a big drill ship. I'll, I'll make one, though, eventually, just for, the, just for the walls. But not really in a hurry. All right, so... Okay, so this is going to come through. We need a... Now, I could probably go out of my way to hide the pipes, but I'm not going to because I think the pipes look, look pretty cool. I actually want them to show. So, there. Eight. There. How big do I want to make this room? Let me think about this. Okay, I have a plan. I put down a... The cargo containers, uh, they're just going to be against this back wall. I'm going to leave them to be able to be stacked up to four high. It's going to be way more <laughs> way more space than I'm ever going to need, but whatever. Uh, I'm just going to stack them too high for now, though. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Actually, they're all going to be they're all going to be connected, even without conveyor conveyors attached to them. These two should actually be connected. I should probably check, though, just to make sure. Let's uh let's do some um let's do some building here. All right, this is the welder. So let's drop everything we got in there. I don't know how much that's gonna be good for. Let's see what it can weld. All right, so the welder. Uh, let's go ahead and weld these two right here. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to weld with these two. I probably don't have everything I need. But uh, let's see. I'm going to show you a little trick that someone taught me. 
Uh, you go to control panel, turn your grinder on, and then you can get out of the ship. Now it's not grinding anywhere because it doesn't have what it needs. So we need, what do we need here? Uh, displays, monitor, and what was that? What kind of steel tubes? Oh, why is that on? Oh, okay, hold on, I screwed up. Okay, you guys probably noticed that. Um, okay, so I turned the grinder on. No, turn that off. Uh, we want to turn the welder on. So, yeah, you turn the welder on, boom. Then you can get out of the ship. Okay, so what do we need for these? We need displays, monitors, and small steel tubes. Let's go get some of those. Display monitor and small steel tube. Display monitor and small steel tube. Display monitor. What did I say? Monitor? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> uh, small steel tube. Display motor, maybe? Oh god, I can't believe I. What, what was that? Display motor. <laughs> monitor. Display monitor and small steel tube. Oh my god. All right. Uh, motor. Cage motor. All right, fair enough. Let's get on out here. And we'll just dump that right in there. Man, I love these welding ships. They're so neat. There you go. Weld away, my friend. Weld away. All right, so we're going to have to take this up because otherwise we're not going to be able to make this. So let's go ahead and make that. We don't have what we need for that anyway. Okay, so that's all done. So let's hop in here. Let's turn off that welder. All right, let's get the ship out of here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to test... Oh my god, was my jetpack off? Hmm, yeah. Anyway, we want to test the fact that this uh, container is actually linked to this container. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop our welder in there. And we're going to come over here. And if we could take the welder out, then they are connected. They are connected. Let's, let's put the welder up here. And then take it out of this one. Okay, yeah, they're all connected. I figured that was the case. I just wanted to make sure. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to run this one right like this. Again, I could probably hide these pipes, but I think they look cool personally. And when you're when you're building a space station, hiding a hiding a pipe is you know it's not really a priority. All right, so we need steel plates. Alright, let's just take some from this bad boy. Actually, I'll take everything out of here. There's no point in having anything in the welder. I mean the grinder. Wait, that was a grinder? Oh yeah, okay. Alright, so... Okay, number seven. Alright, we need bulletproof glass, motors, and small steel tubes. Okay, so let's go get some. We got some right here. Uh, did I say bulletproof glass? I'm pretty sure I did. And I don't think I have any here. Alright, let's dump what we got in here. Dump what we got in here. Some of these, just to make some room. And let's get inside. Bulletproof glass. Probably can't carry that much. 30 will be plenty. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and build these. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and build these tubes. Connect them up. I'm going to build a, a tube right here, a tube right here, and a tube right here. Connect these up. And then I'm going to go ahead and grind. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, weld as much of this as I can. Stomach. And I will come back when that's done. Okay, I'm back. And this is why having the welding ship is so awesome. Because I could just sit there and let it weld. And actually, it ran out of interior plates, so I had to go get some more. And uh, I could do other stuff while it's welding. Alright, so the welding ship accidentally killed me earlier. And when I spawned, I spawned right here. And I, I kind of spawned in the wall. So this... This uh, spawning station is compromised. I'm going to have to move this over. Uh, I'm not going to do it now, but I, I, I'm going to need to move it over. It kept killing me, like, over and over and over. And at one point, I kind of jumped away from it. And I got out of the, the 
you know, repeated deaths, but that's, you know, it's not working that well, so uh, I'll have to move that. So right here, I'm still welding up some stuff. Uh, you know, you got to stay away from that welding torch because that thing will kill you. Uh, yeah. I've gotten too close to that welding torch and it, I paid the price. Alright, so... Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to... First of all, never go in your ship without your jetpack on. That's what killed me. I left the ship and I didn't have my jetpack on. It keeps killing me over and over. Uh, well, sometimes it kills me, sometimes it doesn't, but it's always a problem. So, Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull this ship out and uh, we're coming up to the end of this video. So I'm going to do a little bit more building and then I'm just going to make all this stuff off camera. So let's go ahead and build up some more stuff for this. You can see how the room's shaping up. It's honestly, it's, it's pretty much, you know, done. I just have to put, let's put some of these blocks. Oh, you know, what? I don't have any steel on me. That's another awesome thing with this welding ship, man. I got like this whole cargo container and these cargo containers are pretty big, 80,000 units. Um, you know, not quite sure what that means, but I've only used 6,000 of 80,000. Um, they're, they're not bad. These medium cargo containers are not bad. Uh, I'm sure later on I'll have some issues with them, you know, as far as, you know, not having enough room. But, you know, we'll, we'll deal with that as it comes. It's part of the fun. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put down some of these light armor blocks. Oh, you know what? No, we're not. Because we have to be able to get to those to weld them. So that's fine. That armor block can stay there. And then the rest will be like this, right? Yes. And we can put these down because it doesn't matter. We can get to everything. I just have to make sure I can get to everything that I need to uh, craft. Alright. So that's a tube going that way. So... We're going to need uh, a way for stuff to come into these, which is going to go to there. And then we're going to need a way for stuff to come out of them. And what I could do is, uh, when stuff comes out... Okay, stuff's going to come into this from two spots, uh, into this storage area. I'm going to know what to call it, storage area for now. Uh, this, so, some of the stuff in the storage area is going to come from this side. Some of the storage area from the stuff is going to come up top from when I got ships with a bunch of crap in them. And some of the storage, some of the stuff for the storage area is going to have to go out to ships. So actually that's pretty easy. I could just put a, uh, oh, whatchamacallit right here. One of these, uh, G. I could just put one of these, uh, conveyors right there. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to make this left wall because I kind of want it one away from the wall to make up for this. See how this pipe is going in here and this these cargo containers are one away from the wall. I think I want to do the same on this side even though I don't need to from a... Oh, wait a minute. Where's the door going to go? I want the door to be in the middle. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. So in order for the door to be in the middle, this has got to be... One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's not the middle. Right, in order for this to have a middle, we can't have... Well, I could put the door in a different spot. It doesn't really matter. Oh, look at this. I didn't have enough... Wait. Oh, okay. So when I died, apparently I dropped my welder? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Just pick it up. It doesn't matter. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want this... Uh, I was thinking I want this room to be an odd number so the door can be right in the middle, but I don't think I'm going to do the door right in the middle. I'll probably do the door off to the side. Uh, probably like right here, I guess. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Uh, the door doesn't have to be right in the middle. But I do want this side to... I want the wall to be one away from the, the containers to match the other side. So let me do that now. And this is going to be like this. I can't put... Well, yeah, I can put more down. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, now we're going to take our walls and put those down right here. Now, right here, here. And, no, wait. No, that's right, okay. So, like this. So this will be the corner. 
And then interior walls will be right along here. Yeah. yeah, that'll work. Let's put some more down. I'm not sure how high I want this to be. Actually, we should probably figure that out now, too. Uh, I'm thinking, like, maybe there. That'll leave room for two more, two more sets of cargo containers if I need them. Right now, I have eight. I don't think I'm going to need 16, but just in case, it leaves room for expansion. And uh, we can have the top one. That's got to go out. Yeah, I could worry about that later. It doesn't matter. This wall should be fine. I'm just trying to figure out where I want the pipes to come out to come over here. But I'll worry about that later. It's not really a problem. If I, if I do have to knock out a couple walls here and there later on, if I misplace a wall, it's not that big of a deal. And this... Let's put the door right there for now, I guess. The door's going to be off-centered. It's okay. Um, I really don't mind off-centered doors. I mean, I prefer them in the middle, but, you know, an off-centered door here and there is not really is not really that big of a deal. Alright, so it's going to be that high, so let's do this. And this. I'm going a little long here. It's going to be a little bit longer of a video, but I want to do what I can here to set this up so I can uh, just come in and weld in between videos. When I come back next video, unless I get lazy, which, you know, is very possible, this whole uh, room should be built. Not finished, but everything that... Basically what I do is, guys, uh, for those of you who maybe haven't watched every video or haven't been paying attention, I don't, um, I don't weld uh, on camera usually. I might do a little bit of welding here and there on camera, but for the most part, I do not weld on camera. And what I do is, I will... S but I don't build off camera. I always place everything on camera. Just uh, You know, the first person I ever watched do a video series of this was the Imperator Pat. You know, the guy I'm doing a multiplayer series with, and that's what he does. He places everything on camera so you have an idea of, what, of how he's going to build the structure, and then he does all the welding off camera so you don't have to sit through the boring parts. And that's basically what I'm doing. It's a good... It's a good, uh... It's a good idea. Alright. And let's take this out right here just in case... Because I don't think I need to weld this. That's probably going to be a, a slanty corner or something. And we will come in here. And this will be the storage room. I like it. I can live with it. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for episode 20. We'll see you next time for episode 21. Till then, take it easy.